Hello again, this is Mark French. I'm in the Department of Mechanical Engineering Technology at Purdue University, and this is another in a series of videos about how to use MathCAD. In this case, I want to show you how to use MathCAD to draw a load shear moment diagram. Now, this is the exact same problem as one I posted on the YouTube channel uh, where I was using a, a whiteboard and a pen to draw everything out. I'd like to show you now that it's easy to do the same thing in MathCAD. Alright, so here's the problem we're solving. This is a, a pin-ended beam, 3 meters long, with a distributed load down that goes uh, minus 3,000 newtons per meter at the left end, down or up to, I guess, zero at the right end. And we'd like to draw the load shear moment diagram. So the first thing you have to do is write out the expression for the load right there and uh, include the effect of the two end conditions. Well, I'm going to call this, or the reaction forces at the end, I guess. I'm going to call this point A and that point B. So FA is 3,000 newtons. Okay, we, if you uh, work out the statics, that's how it turns out. Whoops. And FB is 1,500. Okay, so if you sum all the forces, you wind up uh, showing that the vertical forces are 3,000 plus 1,500. That's 4,500 newtons. And the area of that triangle right there down is 1 half BH. So it's 1 half times 3 meters times 3,000 newtons per meter. That's 1 half of 9,000 newtons, which is 4,500 newtons. So that's the sum of FA and FB. Now, in order to uh, draw the load diagram, we've got to show the, uh, we've got to know the equation for that line. Well, if we start x at this point here, where that's x equals zero, then I'll call it capital L of x the load. That's uh, minus 3,000. Let me try that one more time. Minus 3,000 plus 1,000 x. All right. 1,000 times x. So the load, just to double check, the load at 3 meters should be 0, and it is. Okay, so we're good there. Now, the shear is just the accumulated load. And that's going to be the load at the left end, Fa, plus the sum of the load from the distributed load from 0 out to x. and that's in terms of dx. There. Okay, now a little note about the units here. Now I'm not tracking units. You, you can in MathCAD, but I'm not doing it here. Load is in newtons per meter, and shear is in newtons. So how am I getting away with that? Well, that's newtons per meter right there. dx, even though it's we're used to kind of ignoring it when we do calculus, it tells you to integrate with respect to x. You don't necessarily stop to think, that that's got units. That's a distance. It's a very small distance. As close to zero as you want to get, but not actually zero, but it has units of meters. So if L of x is in newtons per meter, and that's in meters, the result is in newtons. Just like that, and just like that. Now, MathCAD is happy to draw that out for us, and there's the expression for shear right there. And I can uh, start a text box. And I've gotten in the habit of putting a less than sign and an equal sign to make kind of an arrow. And just write shear. Okay? And I can write that, as, label that as load. Okay? Now, the moment is simply the integral of the shear. So the moment of x defined as M0, the, the initial moment. Well, there isn't any initial moment there because that's a, a, a pinned joint. There can't be any moment there unless it's applied externally. Well, since there isn't any, I get to ignore the initial moment and simply include the integral of the shear. And again, dx. Let me bring that down a little bit. Now let's let's pause for a second and let's just uh, double check here. It's always good to do some uh, uh, little sanity check here and make sure the answers we're getting make sense. 
since the load at the right end is 1500 newtons, the accumulated shear at the right end should be negative 1500 newtons so that my accumulated shear and that FB there cancel out. So if I say V of 3, I better get minus 1500. There it is. Okay. Now, same thing here. My moment at zero should be zero. There's no applied moment externally, and there's no uh, reaction moment because that's a pin joint. So that better be zero. The same thing better be true out here, since there's no applied moment and that's a pin joint. So M of three better be zero. And indeed it is. Now, notice that that's not exactly zero like this is. That's some number times 10 to the minus 13. Well that means it's a decimal point, 12 zeros and then a minus 2. Well, as an engineer I'm willing to call that zero. And the reason it looks like that is because this wasn't done uh, analytically, it was done numerically and my computer has finite uh, precision. So when you have finite precision you very very seldom get actually zero. You get something that's effectively zero. Now, I want to show you that uh, since I'm working on this expression here down there, when you try this in MathCAD, you try to use that control equals, that uh, symbolic evaluate, this isn't going to work. All right? So I'd like to make it live, but I can't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to physically paste that in right there. All right? Now this is kind of hitting the problem with a large hammer, but it does work. There we go. Now it's not live. If I were to change this expression up here, it would cascade down to there. So let me redraw here. There we go. If I changed L, it would cascade through that expression there, but it would not hit this because this is uh, I cut and pasted. So this is not live. This is, if I change my moment expression, that would change. Alrighty. So let's uh, again put a comment here. So there's my load, my shear, and my moment. Well, the next thing to do now is to plot these out to make a load shear moment diagram. So I'm going to go to Insert Graph and call that X. And let's start with L of X. Okay, now those aren't the units I want. My uh, expression for L is only good from, from 0 to 3. So I want this to go start at 0 meters and that go to 3 meters. All right, so that looks better. There we go. Now, since load shear moment diagrams have three parts and I want to fit all this in here, let's try to clean this up a little bit. There we go. Now, I, in order to make this show up on YouTube, I've got this blown up pretty far. You might be able to see that I'm at 200% zoom. Uh, normally, when, when you're working at 100% zoom, you'll have plenty of room for this to uh, format your, your work here. I'm having to compress it quite a lot because YouTube compresses video and you lose a lot of resolution. So there's my shear. Okay. And there, I'm going to make this my moment here. And there we go. They don't quite line up. Let's see if I can get this to line up. That's pretty close. Okay. So there's my load, my shear, and you can see that's going to wind up at minus 1500. And my moment starts at zero, winds up at zero. Now I can also find uh, where my moment is a maximum if I want. I can find the root of my uh, shear expression, find out where shear goes to zero because shear is the derivative of moment. So if I want to do this, I can say, I don't know, 1. That'll be my initial guess. And I'll say root v of x. Is that, a, that number right there? So shear, the shear line, crosses uh, the 0, the horizontal axis, at 1.268 meters from the left end. Well, if I were to put, uh, figure out the moment, at 1.268 meters, I would find out that 1732.05 is my maximum moment. 
Now there's a slightly cleaner way to do this. Let's let's try something here. Let's take that and clear all this stuff out. And I'm going to say x sub max is defined as that root. Okay, so x sub max is that. And moment x max equals. There we go. This is a little cleaner. If I were to change something above, it would cascade down through this. Anytime you're typing actual numbers into ex an expression, you should be thinking that there might be a more uh, elegant way to uh, uh, set, up, set your problem up. So that's all I was doing here. So there you go. Just to go back up to the top here, we started with this distributed load uh, and all the uh, reaction forces. Wrote an expression out for that line right there integrated it to form the, to uh, develop an expression for the shear and integrated again to develop an expression for the moment and there it is a load shear moment diagram